I'm Anil Kumar. I have taken up a very simple question to explain how the coordinate points change when transformations are applied. Let's go through this question slowly and grasp the concept. The question here is, the function y equals to x cube has undergone the following set of transformations. These are the set of transformations. If y equals to x cube pass through 2, 8, 2 cube is 8, so that's the point on this function. Find the coordinates of the transformed image point on the curves resulting from transformation. Now, the description of the transformation is here. It says, vertically compressed by a factor of half, reflected on y-axis, horizontally compressed by a factor of half, translated two units right and three units down. So I've taken all kinds of transformations here. Let me write down general equation. Uh, let us say the transform function for us is g of x. Then in general, this g of x could be written as a times f of k is the horizontal stretch of compression factor x minus we can use p right so this is since it is cubic so this function i've written function so i need not write q here but i'm writing a very general equation plus q right so whatever is the type of function okay so that is what we have now from the description we can write down what is a what is k p and q and what is the function right and then we'll get our equation so let's begin by writing what these coefficients are, unknowns are. Vertically compressed by a factor of half will mean a equals to half. Reflected on y-axis means a is less than zero, it's negative, reflected on y-axis. So we say absolute value of a is half, but a is negative. Do you see that now? Horizontally compressed by a factor of half, that means k, let me write absolute value of k, is reflected, I mean, horizontally compressed by a factor of 1 over half, 1 over half, which means 2, right? So whenever we are inside, we are doing kind of reverse. So you're getting to multiply by 1 over half or by 2, right? Horizontally compressed by a factor of half, so, so k value is 2. Translated 2 units right, so p is 2. 3 units down, q is minus 3. So we'll substitute these values and get our function. Since a is less than 0, we can write g of x as equals to negative, right? That is how we get negative. The value, absolute value is half. The function, let me write down here, the function is x q. So I'll replace this with this thing with cube do you see that so that is the part of the function k is 2 for us so k is 2 right x p is 2 so minus 2 and q is minus 3 minus 3 so that is how you should be writing the equation from the given description of the transformations i like you to sketch this function and then also see how the points change. Now let's get back to the question once again. It says, this function has undergone the following set of transformations. If y equals to x cube pass through 2, 8, find the coordinates of transformed function. Okay. Now, whatever I wrote here is just to explain you to get the equation. We really do not have that as a part of question. It could be right equation of the transform function so I'm just adding that up and this is the equation right now let us concentrate on the question itself it says that on the original function the point is 2 8 so so the original will write here original and then what do we get on the image right so the original here is 2 8 now what happens to this coordinates to get the point on the image 
this is described here vertically compressed by a factor of half reflected on y axis that means that 8 which is y value so let me write these coordinates as let's say x and y then what is happening here so let's see what is happening here as far as y is concerned vertically compressed that means you divide it right by a factor of half reflected on y combining these two we get minus half times original y value is it okay by a factor of half horizontally compressed by a factor of half that means horizontally you are smaller distance away right so we get half of x value and then we look into translations translate two units right so when you move two units right it should be plus two right and three units down means minus one for y so that is the kind of transformations which you can also uh, and I'm sorry three units down this should be three okay three units down so that is how you get your transform points so for the given question you could have done directly also writing translated points in general so two if I substitute x as 2, what do I get? Let me do the calculation here. So it is half times 2 plus 2, and that is equals to 1 plus 2 as 3. So as far as the x value is concerned, it will be half of 2, which is 1, plus 2, 3. Now with the y values, we have to do minus half of y value, which is 8, and then take away 3. Now, half of 8 is 4, minus 4, minus 3 gives you minus 7. So the coordinate points will change from 2, 8 to 3, minus 7. So that is the answer for the given question, right? So in addition to just giving you or providing you with the solution, I have explained you a couple of other things which can help you to understand the concept. But in the test paper, if you get this question as such, then the steps required were to understand how original points change and then you can substitute the values for x and y and calculate the image points as we have done now as an exercise you can now find uh, the coordinate points for some other points let's say let's say we have minus 3 then minus 3 cube is minus 27 right so now you can write down what will be the image points for this point on x cube this is the point on x cube when it is transformed using this description what is going to be the image point so so find out the new x and y values the image point values that should be the excess for you now thank you and all the best